After a night out under the stars, you may have a stack of FITS images or JPEGs, any sort of still image, that you now want to assemble into a video so that you can further process it in RSpec. Now you can process stills, but with a video, you get to process and average frames and have a lot of other functionality. So I've just selected the folder into which I had captured my files. Now in this case, we only want to look at the FITS files, so I'll use the wildcard filter here to select for just the FIT file type. So that's a list of all the FIT files in that folder. Now if I were to click on the Create Video button, it would create a video that included each of these still images. I could then read it into RSpec and continue working with it. However, before I do that, there's a preview function on this screen which can be very helpful. When I put a check mark here, RSpec will display whatever file image I've got selected. Let's take a look at how that works. First, I'll bring up the histogram and adjust my image so that I can see it. And here you can see the image coming into view. I could use the rotate command, subtract background, whatever I needed. So now, over on the right, we can actually see the profile. And as I step through my images, the profile appears real time. That allows me to determine which specific images I would like to emit because they aren't up to the quality level that I want. Once I've selected the specific image files that I want to include in the video, clicking on the Create Video button will create the file for me. If you're running on a fairly slow computer, it can take some time to load each of these preview files. To make your browsing more smooth, we've provided this Preload All button. When you click this button, RSpec will preload all of the images listed on the screen here. That way, as you click through and browse, those images will be immediately available and your browsing will be much more smooth.